What's going on YouTube? My name is Jeans, Bring you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with this Glade single team. It's going to be taking it to the rank ladder and trying to get some wins in the Master Ball tier. If you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, thank you guys for the support. We are closing in on a thousand subs and I cannot thank you guys enough. Rocking in the front spot, we have Toxtricity for this team. I'm not going to go over it too, too much because you guys kind of already know how most of these Pokemon work. We have the normal move set for Toxtricity with Overdrive, Sludge Wave, Volt Switch, and Boom Burst. Then we have this Dragapult right next to it with that Life Orb. Another normal move set for single battles with Dragon Arts, Phantom Force, Fire Blast, and Sucker Punch. Then we have the T-Tar Extra Jolt, which is like one of the best combos in the game. So this is going to be rocking out for us. We're going to be doing some work with it. Extra Jolt with that Sandrush doubles his speed inside Sandstorms. But it's rocking heavy duty boots this time. So it cannot get hit by spikes or like Stealth Rocks and all that good stuff. And the T-Tar is also rocking the Smooth Rock as its item, which I never used before. But we know exactly what it does. It's going to make the Sandstorms last longer. Instead of five turns, it goes to seven or eight turns. Then we have this Toad Kiss right here, which I love this Toad Kiss moveset. It is phenomenal for singles with the Nasty Plot, Heat Wave, Air Slash, and Dazzling Gleam. Once you get one Nasty Plot set up, it's like, boy, it is game over. You can just Dynamax Toad Kiss and just sweep out. It is also rocking the King's Rock here. If you guys do not know what the King's Rock does, it gives them a 10% chance of flinching. So like moves like Heat Wave, which has no chance of flinching, now gets a 10% chance. Rocking in the final spot, we have Gallade, and I'm hyped for Gallade. Because I feel like Gallade is such an underrated attacking Pokemon. It is just so good and I love using them. Rocking with a wide variety of moves with Drain Punch, Leaf Blade, Knock Off, and Shadow Sneak for first turn priority. It is just such a good Pokemon and I cannot wait to show it off. But guys, if you like to use this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen. Use it up. Let me know how you do it in the comment section down below if you do use it. And let me know for question of the day, what other games do you guys like to play besides Pokemon? I would love to hear you guys' feedback and love to learn what games you guys do enjoy. But guys, let's get rocking out with this team and try to get some wins in the Master Ball tier. Yes, sir. We are back on the singles ladder. We haven't did a singles video in a little bit, but I'm hyped to be back with this team. This guy's rocking Token Amaru. Ooh, a little Token Amaru action in singles with the Gyarados, Snorlax, Dragapult, Charizard, and that Mimikyu. Who do I see him leading? I kind of want to lead my Togekiss. Do you have any Steel Pokemon? No. I Maybe? Maybe he's going to lead the Token Amaru? He actually might lead the Token Amaru. Who I still lead you? I mean, let's go, no, let's go you, let's go Gallade, and let's get in this extra drill without the T-Tar with the heavy duty boots and get rolling from there. I feel like this could potentially do some work in the long run. We have the rock moves to take out the, uh, does extra have the rock moves? He might not, but still, I still think we're chilling here with this team right here. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. He's probably going to go into the token tomorrow. That's why I brought the extra drill so we can swap out and maybe uh, just eat up a, an electric move. It won't hit my extra drill. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head to the link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out. I'd love to see you guys there. But he does go into the Togo tomorrow. Like I said, like I said, do we just swap right now? We could just swap. I think we are just going to swap into the drill. Get the drill rolling. We have the EQ. EQ will eat that thing up all day. All day, baby. Here goes a little swap skis into the drill. Are you going to waste an electric move? He's probably going for a nuzzle. You going for a nuzzle, buddy? You going for a little bit of nuzzle? You are going for a little bit of nuzzle. Maybe I should have just hit that thing. Maybe I should just hit him. Um, do I see him swapping? Yeah, we're gonna swords. We're gonna swords dance here and get rolling from here. I can totally see him swapping. Go ahead, swap out, little boy. Give me a little bit of swap skis. You think we're going for an EQ? You're gonna swap into your Gyarados. That's fine by me. Get a little bit free swords dance action. He's gonna U-turn. That's fine. That's fine. We eat that all day. Look how much damage it does. Like, poo poo damage. No damage whatsoever. We get a free sword chance. Who are you going to roll into from here? That is my question. That is my question. Who are you going to roll into from here? I'm thinking he brought his Gyarados and he's going to roll into that. I'm thinking we're going for an EQ. There it is. There's the Gyarados. That's fine by me. We're going to sword dance up from here and hit ourselves a little bit of Dynamax action here. Because he's going to one tap us. I feel like he's going to Dynamax. And if we Dynamax, we can totally do some work. We go to a max rock fall, set the sand stream for ourselves, and totally outspeed next turn. Man, dude, extra drill is just so good. It is just so good. He's gonna withdraw here and go into who? Who's gonna eat up this rock move? That's my question. Your token tomorrow? Hmm? You think we were swapping? I think he thought we were swapping. That's exactly what he thought. He thought we were swapping. Get out of here. Token tomorrow's going. He might be gone. He might be gone. Probably. Might be rocking focus ash, but we're gonna get the sand stream and we're gonna be chilling from there. We're gonna be chilling from there, not even gonna lie. Let's go, let's get it. Mwah. Max Rockfall, get him! 
Get him! Nice little start here. Wonderful start. We have a sword sand top. Look at that damage. Let me get the sand stream rolling. We will go first next turn because we are sand rush. It's just lovely. It is just lovely. This is the perks that you can be able to run extra drill without T-Tar. It's like you can set up your own sandstorm. Um, what would be my best call? Probably go for a defense buff. Yeah, I think going for a defense buff is my best call. Hands down. Because we're not going for a max quake. Defense buff is probably my best call. Hopefully this takes it out. This should be able to take it out. Let's see. Come on, take it out. Take it out, actually. Your plus one pass. Give us that plus one defense and the kill. Yes, sir. Okay, we get the kill and we get the defense boost. See, like, I wasn't going to go into a max quake for no reason. Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> But I wasn't going to go into a max rock ball, considering we already have the sandstorm up and we don't need too much damage, so there's no point. We might as well get the defense boost and have it for the rest of the game for him. Now we're seeing that plus two attack, plus one defense. We can see a sweep. We can see a sweep, action. We can see a potential sweep. Probably going to dynamax. We're going to rock ball. No, we are going to quake. Are we going to quake? No, I think I'd rather just steal spike here and raise our defense once again. Because it is stab. And... If he goes into the Gyarados, the Max Quake wouldn't affect. So we might as well just go into this. And look at that. Look at that. Are we going to see an extra drill sweep? Are we going to see an extra drill sweep? In the first match? Look at that. Good calls by me to bring in the extra drill here. We saw that Glade in the back end. <laughs> we saw that Glade in the back end. And we're going to see an extra drill sweep here, I think. I think that's game. I, actually, I don't know. Actually, I don't know yet. Because he's going to Dynamax here. I'm hoping we can see an extra drill sweep. Yo, let's go into the rock side. We are going to outspeed. It all matters if we can eat up a shot. Because he's going to Dynamax go into the geyser. He's going to go into the geyser and change the weather up on us. Well, that could be tough. That could be tough. Maybe we should have just Swords Dance. <laughs> this is my jam, baby. This is my jam. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you. Extra Drill and T-Tar, I think it's the best combo in the game. Even though we're not using T-Tar, like, Extra Drill can just roll on his own. But T-Tar just makes it so much better. Especially, like, because you, you can use it in doubles or singles battles. This guy going to quit. Is that still a sweep if he quits? We still have that Glade in the back. I, like, we're fine. The Toad Kiss would, would be fine get up against it, too. What is he doing? Like, I don't know. I know what your call should be. You're di he didn't even Dynamax. Is this a sweep? We, we take those. X-Control sweep in the first match. Let's get it. That is how you rock out. I want to show up that Glade, but no need. We got our Moldy Boy over here. We just swapped out and ran it with him. Let's get it. Coming off that strong sweep, we're rocking into battle number two. This guy has a Draco Fish, and that is probably what I'm most scared of. I got to watch out for that. How am I going to go in? How am I going to find my way in here? He is probably going to lead that Rotom. That's why I think he is. I think he's, he's, he's got to bring the fish. He's got to bring the fish. Like, the fish is just so good. I'm, do I lead the Glade? Like, I know the Rotom's coming in. Like, I know the Rotom's coming in. I'm going to go Glade instead of Kiss. I'm going to bring the Dragapult in that back end. Then do we go T-Tar here? I mean, T-Tar could be good. Maybe you got to watch out for that Weezing. The Weezing could be scary. But I think my final position should be that uh, Togekiss. I think the Togekiss should be able to rock out here and do some work. But like I said, I just have to watch out for that Draco fish there. Maybe I should have brought that Toxtricity with that Choice Scarf. I'm thinking I maybe should have done that, but I think we should be fine all around. I just got to watch out for the fish, like I said, because he's so dangerous. Everyone knows that. Fish is Ren. You just give him, like, a Choice Scarf or, like, you just boost his speed up. Like, dude, so good. So good. Let's see how we can do after coming off that sweep with that extra. That was awesome. That was awesome. He starts off with the Weezing, which is fair. We're not going into the T-Tar, but we're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. What's this thing going to go into? We could rock out. He's neutralizing gas, which takes out abilities. That's fine. That is fine. We don't really need ours. Ooh. Ooh. This is scary. Did we knock off his item before we go? Yeah, let's knock off his item before we even uh, start rolling from there and see how we can do. Let's say bye-bye to his item. I wonder what he's going to do. I love the smoke sacks. I love them. We do have that assault vest, so we should be able to eat up a little bit more. He's going to put the burn on. We're going to take off his item. That's totally fine by me. That is totally fine by me. The Glade was burned. The knockoff comes here. Yeah, ye, give me that item, boy. What you got? What I take off? A little focus sash. Okay, that did nothing then. <laughs> this thing is sash. Okay, so the burn is on us. Uh, what's this thing typing again? It is a poison and fairy. Um, poison's super effective to me. Oh my kiss. I'm going to my pole. Mm, this is tough. This is tough, guys. I can't go into my kiss. I cannot go into my kiss. Just shadow sneak. 
I'm gonna swap into my Pult here. I'm gonna save my Glade for the back end. We're gonna swap into the Pult. Oh, this is tough. The Weezing is the toughest one. I feel like once we get past this thing, it's, we're just gonna be home free, rolling strong. But this Weezing could potentially sweep us. Got some work going here. Memento's gonna come. It's gonna take himself out. That is wonderful. Does that take himself out? Okay. Our attack harshly falls. Our special attack falls too. And he takes himself out. Beautiful. <laughs> we're just gonna swap out here. Who are you gonna go into now? Okay, so our stats go down. Momentum's good when there's like one Pokemon left. That is really what's good. But for him to start off like that, I'll take that. Okay, the Pulte guys comes out here. A little bit of Pulte guys action. And we gotta swap here. We gotta swap. Do we go into the Kiss or the Gallade? Or the Gallade? Might go for a Shell Smash. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna go into the Gallade here. Hopefully he does not go into a Shell Smash. He gets set up. I think he's gonna go into the Shell Smash. But he doesn't have a Sash. That's the thing. He doesn't have a Sash. That might have been his call to go into this and into a shell smash without the sash. Let's see what he does. He does. He does. This dirty little book. This dirty little boy. Get out my face. Get out my face. You shell smash rocks out. I know he doesn't have focus sash because he's uh, wheezing out of focus sash. And we're going to shadow sneak it. He's going to Dynamax here. Oh, my Lord. He goes white herbin. He's a white herb kind of guy. The Pulte guys is just such a cool Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna go for the Shadow Sneak, try to get some damage, because he might just one-tap me. I wanna see how much we can do, because he's Dynamaxing. He, no, we shouldn't have Dynamaxed, because we wouldn't have got a hit off. This thing's just gonna run. This thing's just gonna start running some things. Oh, he does not Dynamax. We can just get the Shadow Sneak off. Yeah. That did nothing. That did nothing, because he raised his defense up. Weak Armor's gonna come through. Yes, sir. Grab his defense, but oh my lord, this thing's stats. This thing's stats is through the roof. These stored powers coming through. Oh, no! See you later, Gallade. Bye, Gallade! Oh no, Glade eats that up all day. Glade eats that up. We gotta go into another Shadow Sneak here. Let me see this thing's stats. I thought Sword Power was rocking out on us. Let's see this thing's stats, my man. <laughs> Jesus, man. We have to go into another Shadow Sneak. It's our best bet. Shadow Sneak's our best bet. Do a little bit of damage before we go out here. Shadow Sneak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drop his defense. Again with that weak armor. Now do we see... Do we outspeed this thing? Do you guys see us? Or is he plus four on that, uh, on that speed? Yeah, he is flying. The batting pass is coming through. Oh, no! Oh, no! Who are you batting passing into? That's my question. Who are you batting passing into? <laughs> Dang, I thought that pulled you guys were just going to start running. It's probably the fish. Man. Oh, no! Not the fish! Dude, the fish is going to be running things. Look at this thing's stats! Oh, my God! <laughs> we need him to miss something. We're gonna just go into another shadow sneak. Do a little bit of damage before we go out. Let's get it. Oh, ye yeah, baby. This thing's a beast. This is Ren. Oh my lord. He's probably Choice Bandit, too. He's probably Choice Bandit. Not even gonna lie. Uh, do we go pull or kiss? <laughs> I say we D Max into the kiss. It's our only hope. It is our only hope to D-Max into the Togekiss. Come on, Togekiss! Get him! Gotta get this ugly thing out the way. Max Starfall coming in hot. Oh, dude, this thing is beasting. This thing is beasting. I wonder why he went for a momentum early on. The setup. He's trying to set up with the fish and just sweep out. But he's also Dynamax and he is gonna go first. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Terrified. Terrified here. Probably going into a Max Geyser here. He's not going to go into his Dragon move. Or maybe a Crunch. Or a Max Darkness. Why did I say Crunch? It's Dynamax. Jeez, man. He has no defense boost, which is fine. We should be able to potentially one-tap him. We should be able to potentially one-tap him if we do end up getting a shot off. But, oh my lord. He's plus two on the attack. Plus six on the speed. No way we're outspeeding this thing. I don't think anything can outspeed it. Unless we have a speed boost. And a choice card. <laughs> Get a toad kiss. Flap those wings and get in there. Show this drink of fish. We're not messing around. Let's see. Here comes the... Uh, of course, things rocking hailstorm. It's not sad, though. Let's see it. Toga kiss. Toga kiss. Mm-hmm. Toga kiss. Take him out. Take him out here, Toga kiss. Say, this is my house. Say, this is my house. Oh, no. He has his berry. He has his berry, man. Still, say it's my house. Not your house. All right, that's fine. Jeez, man. Jeez. Jeez. I will, the, the hail will tick away on him. We're going to max guard here. 
We are going to max guard here. Oh, if that berry wasn't there, we that was a potential KO. That was a potential KO. I'm not calling us out yet, because once we get this fish out the way, we can be chilling. Let's get this guard going. Just guard up here. Guarding up, yeah! A little bit of block. It blocking, baby. Guys, he's gonna try to change the weather before he pops off here. Before he pop off here, we're gonna let that buffer go again. Um, our best bet would for us to go for another max guard because we know we can't miss. So maybe we can pull off this double max guard. Let's see it. Man, <laughs> we tried. Max guys comes out here. He's gonna change the weather up. But the reason I did try to go for that max guard is because we were dead either way. He was outspeeding us. We we're gonna try to max guard and let the hail buff it a little bit and then roll into my pole. But here comes the rain. Here comes the rain. Yeah, yeah. Match two not looking so good for us. It's not looking so good for us. Yeah. We're gonna roll into the pole. We do have sucker punch. We do have sucker punch, ladies and gents. Do have sucker punch. And he is off his Dynamax here. And sucker punch come in clutch. Can he come up big? We just gotta give him a little give him a little sucker punch. Take him out. Can this take him out? Oh my lord. Let's go, Pult. Let's go, Pult. Show it to me, baby. Let's go, Poltski. Poltski, do him dirty. Do him dirty, Poltski. He's probably choice bandit or choice scarfed into a fish's round, so. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. Are you gonna counter this bad boy? Are we gonna counter him hard? Oh, this will be great. Great battle here if we can do this. Get him, get him, Pult. Get him, Pult! Show him what's up! <laughs> I don't know what he's thinking about. Like, what are you thinking about? It's my question. See, second punch comes through. Ah, oh, yeah. Take him. Yes! Let's go! Let's get it! Okay, down to a 1v1 situation. He's rocking the Pulte, guys. I could totally see going into a Shell Smash. So we're gonna rock out with a different move and then possibly go into a Sucker Punch once again if it doesn't take, if our first move does not take him out. Cause he's already down to half health. Sucker Punch is super effective. I'm gonna drop it out into a Phantom Force. We should be able to outspeed. He batten passed all of his stats away. You batten passed all your stats away. We're not going for a Sucker Punch. That's why I'm going into that in case he goes into a Shell Smash. Phantom Force drops. Phantom Force drops, baby. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Like I said, we get that fish out the way. And there we go. Perfect that I did not go into that Sucker Punch. That is probably the best move I, I played. Not going into that Sucker Punch. Let's go. See, he thought we were going to Sucker Punch. It would have failed if I didn't. If I would have went into it. And now we're going to take him out with this Phantom Force and say, Night, night, baby. Let's go. He's going to outspeed. Like, you can't protect it. You can't do anything against it. It's going to be game. A little bit of stab Phantom Force for the win. And he cancels the battle. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, baby. Let's hop into battle number three and try to go 3-0 and with this team. Who should I go in from here? Who should I go into? I can see him going in with that Italian or that Road Tom. I feel like Gallade is another great call here. So we're going to rock out with that Gallade. Gallade's going to come in here because we have Leaf Blade. Leaf Blade could slap up on that Italian if he leads it. If he leads that Road Tom, that's a little bit tough news for us. But bring the Drill again. I think I'm going to bring that Drill. I think Drill's got to come in here. And then I think we're going to roll out with the Toxtricity. I think that's the play call. Because we have that Poison or that Fairy type. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I'm liking it. I'm liking the way we are looking here. Let's get rolling from here. We have the rocks for the Rotom. We have the leaf or the grass for the boy in Talion. I think we're chilling. He might lead the Scrafty. He might lead the Scrafty, which I could be fine with. I'd go for a fake out or something. But I wish the Glade did have Sword Sands, and I wish his EVs were speed attack. His HP attack is nice and all, but you use him for speed and attack. You want him to go first. You want him to slap up. You want him to potentially set up a sword stance and sweep out. But let's see if we can go three. Now we brought our sweeper pick in the extra drill in the back end, which is nice, which is nice. We rocked out in that last battle. Played that actually very, very well to take out that fish. Take out that fish. We waited out a little bit. Sucker punch him and just rocked out from there. Let's see. Let's see who he goes into. This is the Hydreigon right off the bat, right off the rips. That's fine by me. That is totally fine by me. We're gonna go into a Gallade. A little bit of Gallade action. A little bit of Gallade action. And do we just... Do, I say we just Drain Punch it. I mean, what, what other things could he be going into? Hmm. I don't see him Dynamaxing. Do we see him Dynamaxing? I really... Could be, but... I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Let's see. 
Let's see it. Come on, Drain Punch is going to fly out here. I love I love Glee's arms. Look at that. See, he does not go. He's going to withdraw from here, knowing that we have something like that, a fighting move here. He's probably going to go with Scrafty. Sylveon's going to pop here. Smart little play by him. Going to the Sylveon. Drain Punch is going to pop. No, you do a teensy bit of damage, but we take those damage. We take that damage all day. Uh, do we D-Max from here? Could D-Max. This thing is leftovers. Okay, that's fine. We could knock off its leftovers. That'd be lovely. We could knock it off. Um, Or we could swap. Ooh, we could swap. Hmm. <laughs> we have steel or we can go sludge. I know we'll outspeed on the second turn. And that's a fact. A proven fact. We are scarred. We're going to swap with the toxicity here. This is exactly why I brought the toxicity. Was for the Sylveon here. The good lead. Get out of here. Come back. You'll hop in there later to get us that win. And toxicity is going to pop out here. And get rolling from here. What's he going to go into here? Hyper voice. Probably trigger. No, he's not third spray. He is uh, leftovers. That's fine by us. We are scarfed. He's probably going to swap here. Does he go back into the Hydreigon? That's my question. Does he go back into the Hydreigon? Do we still scarf into the Sludge Wing? Yeah, I think that's just a fair call. I think it's just fair. We can potentially get poisons. He's going to swap here, hands down. Hands down, he's swapping. Maybe back to the Hydreigon. That's what I think he's going to do. He does not. He does not. What a bold Sylveon here. A bold one. Takes his Sludge Wave like a champ and get the poison. No poison. Mystical Fire is going to pop here. A bold play by you, buddy. We're going to eat that up all day. Toxicity's going to come in clutch. Be able to take out the Sylveon with an, another Sludge Wave. After it's going to pop, I can see it totally protecting. I can see it totally protecting. I'm trying to get a little bit of health. But Sludge Wave, we'll take it out. We're going to outspeed all day with our True Scarf. Drop our special attack, which was, which was rather smart. Which was rather smart. I'm going to save my Gallade in the back for that Hydreigon. To come up clutch in the end. But this is all I need Toxicity for, is to say bye-bye to the Sylveon. I think he's going to let the Sylveon go at this point, knowing that I have a Glade that he can't really do too too much against. So I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling. Got to watch out for that Hydreigon, because that Hydreigon's probably rocking a fire move for the extra drill. Just, just saying. Just saying. Got to watch for him. He's going to withdraw. He is going to save his Sylveon, thinking we might have brought the Dragon. He's going to bring out the Inteleon. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. But we, we're truly scarfing into poison move. Hopefully we can get a poison off on him. Still does a decent amount of damage. Still does a wonderful amount of damage. And we should be able to outspeed here. We should be able to outspeed with the truly scarf and be able to take him out. Let's go Toxtricity. Coming up big. Coming up big. Let's see what he does. He's going to... Ooh. A little bold move. A bold move to go out into the Dynamax. I think this is his last resort because he's like, that Kalei's going to take out my Hydreigon. He's like, the Sylveon's dead to the Toxicity. I, this thing's got to go. That's what he's thinking. He's like, I got to Dynamax this Italian and get rolling from here. Which was kind of smart. It was smart. Probably something I would do. Let's see, guys. Sludge Wave pops. Is it going to take? It's not going to take. He got that health increase. I'm just going to come in with a Max Geyser. That's probably going to take us out. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, bye, Toxicity. Bye, buddy. Um, how do we roll from here? I mean, the rain's coming on hot. We could go into a Leaf Blade. I think I'm gonna Dynamax. I think I'm gonna Dynamax my uh. He's gonna he's life form. I don't want to go into my drill. My drill's not sashed. He's not sashed at all. We have the Soul Fest here. I'm gonna Dynamax my Glade. Glade's gonna get big. He's gonna get tall. He's gonna get rolling out here. And what are we gonna do from here? What are we gonna do from here? This thing is life form. I don't think we're out speed. That's the thing. This thing. I don't think we're out speed. This Max guy's just gonna do a nice amount of work on. Oh, no. Uh, do we go Knuckle? Boost our attack? We get a little bit of grassy terrain? Um, I said we just boost our attack and take him out. Stab Max Knuckle? Yeah. That's the call. We're going to boost our attack here. Let's see how this rolls out here. This is going to... This is gonna, I think this battle is going to come down to the wire here. I really do think it is. I think he's going to outspeed. And I don't think he's going to kill me. I think he's going to bring me very, very low. With that Life Orb. He's, got, he's probably going to go first. He's going to be Life Orb. Max Geyser in the rain. It's going to do some damage. And it's sad. And it's sad. That is going to do some damage. But hopefully our Assault Vest can neglect some of it. And do some work. And soak up some of that hits. Let's see. Here comes the second Max Geyser. Like I said. Galade, do it for me, buddy. Eat it. Say nom nom nom. My boy. My boy Galade comes up clutch here. There you go. We're going to take out this Intellion here. Like, I needed it out the way. It would have ran my Exedril. Exedril should be chilling here. And hopefully we can outspeed the Hydreigon. He might go into the Sylveon. I think he's going to go into the Sylveon. But a lot of Pokemon will outspeed my Glade. Because like I said, the stats are not in the speed pattern. Which, man, dude, that's what I wanted. Like, we would outspeed that Italian all day. 
we would have took him out. That's why I wanted that speed in him instead of that HP. But still, he works very, very well. He works very well. Just a different type of glade. Bam, bam, bam. Who's he? I think he's going to go into the Sylveon, try to waste some turns here. But we did take away his Dynamax, which is lovely. He goes to the Sylveon. Might have quick attack. He might have quick attack. Um, let's go into an overgrowth here. We have to go into an overgrowth. Hopefully, overgrowth will take out. Oh, we do outspeed. My boy Gallade. My boy Gallade. Take him out. Take out that Sylveon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We come down to a 1v1 situation here. Did we lose some Pokemon in this battle? Yeah, we lost Toxtricity. That's totally fine. I, I need that. I only, only thing I need that Toxtricity for was that Sylveon. And it worked out beautifully. It worked out beautifully. We get a little bit of health back. How much? 10. Wonderful. We're back in the yellow. Down to the Hydreigon. Hydreigon's probably going to outspeed us. Not even going to lie. And it's going to be looking scary. But the rain actually helps out my uh, my extra drill. Say he takes us out here. And our extra drill could probably eat up a shot in the... In the... What's it called? A fire move in the rain. Because the rain's going to decrease his damage. Dark Pulse comes here. Eat it. Yes, sir. That's going to be game. That is going to be game. Just the five pops. We get another attack boost. And that's going to be the game. Let's get it. Let's go, baby. 3-0 with this squad. Back in singles. Rocking out very strong. Very, very strong. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it, guys. Let me know what you guys did think of this team. I had tons of fun playing it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and all that good stuff. Boom, baby. Let's go. 3-0 with this squad. We rocked out with them and did some work. I'm glad I got to show off most of this team. We didn't really get to show off the Titar or Tokus, but I showed them off in plenty of other videos, so it's fine. The Toxtricity came up close to Dragapult dominate in Battle 2. Extra Drills are sweeped out in Battle 1, and Gallade popped off in the third battle. So I'm hyped I got to show off most of this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.